I mean, they went this way, so. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Bigfoot sighting. Ah! Oh my god, hi guys. This is the last vlog of the 2K23 X season. Ooh, look at the lighting. We're here at Adams Nature Preserve and we're about to run. Anyway, so good luck to us. Um, We'll see you guys so on the excited. We'll see you guys on the flip side. How do you turn this off? Guys, you guys already saw the intro. It's called a fridge. And we're gonna run right now. No, in like two hours ish. The girl's running like an hour ish. Edit that out. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh no, my thing broke. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Like last time, bro. You got Lamar, you got Joy, and you got Wilton. We ready? Uh, to die, not not to die. <laughs> no. I don't like it when you say that. Hey, I'm about to be Henry Ruggs out there. So, Kenny. What? I have to edit that that out. Lexi. What? Am I supposed to vlog? No. Are you vlogging? Yeah, I'm vlogging. I have food in me. That's why I want to vlog oh. now. <laughs> yeah, guys. Uh, we had a we had a uh, an issue with uh, breakfast. Uh, yeah. We're not gonna talk about that though. But you got Lexi, she's ready to run her last race. Lexi, how do you feel about that? So excited. I cannot wait to be done. I'm literally gonna cry tears of joy. She's so ready to do her fifth year. No. Uh-uh, no. Caleb, don't even speak that. Nuh-uh. Oh, I haven't got a DJ. DJ, ready? Ready for the vlog? And it also tastes like white gummy bear. Okay, Trey. You have anything to say? Man. Ain't no For one, fuck Krakashi. He didn't make a cross country runner, bro. For two, we're trying to go sub 27. I mean, sub 28. Yeah. You know, if we go sub 28, we greedy in across the finish line. That's a promise. That's about it. Yeah, guys, we're so excited uh, about a race, the run of, race of our lives. So excited, right, Kenny? Yes, sir, bro. I'm about to go make it happen today. Yes. Peace out. Guys, this is Puma's last race. She's a senior. Hey guys, um, my tummy hurts really bad right now, and I'm being so brave about it. I don't have anything to say. Uh, this is Connor Antonito. He's ready to race. He's gonna ball out. He's gonna, this is his race of his life, the most important race so far in his college career. Yet again, he's a freshman, so I am a yeah. freshman, so just PR, bro. You that's, got that's the plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really bright there. I'm going here. Alright. Davis, you wanna be in on it? Oh, can you go on? It's kinda of bright over there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here with Tyler. And Davis. I'm Grace Johansson. <laughs> We're here today at the GPAC Cross Country Championships. Uh support in Briarcliff. Uh the date is November 4th, 2023. Tyler, do you have anything you want to say today? Um We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, their women's is just finishing up, so we'll have to kind of wait for our people to come and see what their times are. But I feel like we're going to be, we'll make some records today. Uh, yeah, what Tyler said. Hopefully there's records broken and I hope nobody uh, hurts themselves and everybody just has a good race. It's good. I also think it's important to note that this course, uh, we just had eight people PR on it a couple weeks ago. Uh, temperatures are feeling good today. It's about 40 degrees out. So running temperatures are ideal. Uh, yeah, it'll be a good day for running. Winds zero to none, honestly. Standing temperatures for spectators are not ideal. But Davis, California is showing is the real thing. I can't say anything though, actually. I'm in gloves. I'm kind of layered up. Feeling good though. Um, yeah, it'll be a good day. Uh, we're excited to watch, so stay tuned to some behind the scenes footage. Uh, we got the men's cross country team warming up here. Uh, I don't know what he's doing over there. He's getting hyped. 
Those are a lot of dogs here today, too. Um, you want to tell any funny running story you got? I ran a 5K in 2019 in South Carolina with my dad. It was 93% humidity. I died. So props to you guys for doing this. I couldn't do it. I don't really run. Um, yeah, I think the last time I did a 5K, I walked most of it. I'm, I finished. I should probably run more. Hmm. How do you think running in the gorilla suit has prepared you for today? Uh, um, I don't know. I was uh, excited for that. It was pretty funny. Thank God I'm not doing it anymore. Do you think that got you into like the right headspace for today? Probably. The gorilla mindset of just attack and just go. Keep going. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to someone whose birthday it is probably here, statistically probable. Happy birthday to you. We're actually gonna go around now and ask anyone if it's their birthday. Like, watch this. Hey, good job. Is it your birthday by any chance? My birthday? Yeah. No. Okay. It's in February. Darn it. <laughs> All right, thanks. Bye. Zero for one. <laughs> Is that an embarrassing moment for you? It did embarrass me. <laughs> Lame. Zero turtles. What kind of outdoor adventure is this? What? What kind of outdoor adventure is this? Exactly. If they don't have turtles, what are we doing here? It's not even worth being here. I'm just kidding. We're here to support. That was the wrong way, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, don't put that in there, please. <laughs> you gonna do it? Go ahead, tell them. Go on. Okay. Oh, he's got a gun. He's got a gun. Hey, gentlemen. Sergeant's gonna be out here. Watch for his hand as well as to report the gun. You can hear the whistle on the whistle. Be ready to go. And now we get to wait. Very exciting. Davis, how's your first cross country meet? The going Chargers so far? are in a strong position to keep running the entire day. <laughs> so let's hope they keep running. I don't know. So fun fact, this is actually Davis's first cross country meet. And I don't know anything that's happening other than that there was a cool gun and the run. Davis should have brought his plane so he could have watched it from the air. That would have been kind of fun. We should look into that for next year. Sure. I'll be here next year. I will not. Mm. You can come back. It's a Saturday. Do I really want to come back here? Yes, he does. Yes, I do. He loves Briarcliff. Briarcliff's number one fan. This is like YouTube taken over by royalty right now. It's kind of bright, though. Mm. Okay. And now we just yeah. sit yeah. and wait for them. <laughs> yeah. See here, this is going to be the end where a lot of PRs are going to be broken. Juan, if I don't see you here in T minus 28 minutes and counting, that's it, bro. It's actually less than that now, Juan. You probably got about 27. Um, love it. So, oh, we're in the finish line. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we messed up. Oopsie. Do you want to go look at the turtle garden again? Ooh, turtle garden. Turtle garden was actually lame. Look at this trash. Yeah, look at nature. You're the worst <laughs> one. I'm sorry. This will be your worst vlog ever. We need funny stories. Mm. Um, I could tell my bird stories, but I feel like most people know about those. Long story short, I hate birds. Been attacked probably about four or five ooh. times now. Oh. Go 
bother Tyler. That sounds kind of fun. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Tyler's actually eating nature's finest food. Mm -hmm. This was straight from the preserve. Adam's pizza. Adam's pizza. Mmm, <laughs> scrumptious. Let's get a close up on that. <clears throat> Now we have a very special message brought no. to you by Davis. Grace Google. just wants me to repeat something I naturally did and she's gonna make me do it again. It's all for theater, it's all for show. This is fake. Well, you just lost the specialness of the vlog, Davis. What was our Bible verse of the day though? The Bible verse of the day is a great one. From Job chapter 19. For I know that my, re for I know that my Redeemer lives and at last he will stand upon the earth. Amen. What a beautiful verse for the day. And and speaking of Job, Job went through some terrible, terrible adversity in his life. He lost everything, but he never lost his faith with God. Just like our runners out here, they may go through some trials today. They may feel tired, but they know that if they just persevere through, they can do it because God is always with us. Amen. That's a great reflection on today's verse, Davis. Thank you for that. You're welcome, ma'am. This sign has sign language on it. Fun fact. I used to have a deaf girl in my class. So let's see if I can practice these signs. Hello. How are you? My name is, my sign name was this, Grace, G-R-A-C-E. Davis is not my friend. This is friend. He is kind. He's always there when I need help, but not friends. Good, because that's exactly the same way I feel. I'm happy we're on the same page. <laughs> Juan, you're gonna love. <laughs> I see you. We need. Hmm. I'm here now to give you your running joke of the hour. Hope you're ready for this. What do sprinters eat before a race? Do you know what sprinters eat before a race? Sprint. What do sprinters powder. eat before a race? Sprintlers, I don't know. Nothing. Oh. They fast. Oh. That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we just saw Juan's first checkpoint was what, like 3 15. 15 ish? I don't know if that's good, but I hope it's good, so good job, Juan. He was like in 60 something. Oh, there's Raul. 322. We're approaching the 17th minute mark here soon. Nolan, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. Fun fact I took a class with Kenny where we had to like run a two mile run, and Kenny blew everyone out of the water. It was ridiculous. We were doing like exercise testing. And we had to like run around the like indoor track in the gym and Kenny just made it look so easy and I was sitting there kind of dying. I guess disregard my last comment about last time I ran. That was probably the last time I like ran a longer distance of two miles. I'm a golfer guys, not meant for the running life. Come on, go! Go! Come on, go! Come on, push through, push go, through! One, go! Nice, nice job, job Juan. Good job. Good job. Good kick. Good kick. Juan, you're gonna have to go to about two minutes there to find yourself. Just FYI. But so proud of you. You did so good. Come on, Raul. Finish strong. Is this steaming? Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> when, anything you'd like to say post race right away? My side stitch, man. I gotta fix that. But other than that, I did good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> One had a great race today, PR by 14 seconds. Official time. I don't know the 20. It's a uh, 27:50 ish. Uh, a little low, around that time. Well, here, wait. Well, wait. It might not show up. 27:50.4. There you go. There you go. Absolutely yeah, radical. Oh. We're so proud of Juan. Like okay, Davis is on the phone, but <laughs> look at this. I mean, 
blue shoes, fresh kicks, kind of. Yeah. Maybe not. It's super fresh. We got the, the Blazing Headbands, run sponsored by the Blazing Challenge. I don't know why. Did you win the Blazing Challenge? Yeah. I have the fastest time in two today. I think. I might. I might. I did it under like, like two minutes and 35 seconds around that time. You want to try again tonight? Yeah, we should. you want to do that? I know the Buffalo Wild Wings kind of sounds good, actually. I'd be down. We'll do yes. that. Post race wings! Yes! It's filming. Grace told me I had to film, so I'm filming. What would you like to say, Grace? Mm, not what I like to say. I like to say good, just good job to everyone. Here, wait, I'll get them in the background here. <laughs> good job to everyone. Uh, super exciting couple PRs I'm hearing out there. Um, seems like a really good way to end the season though. Uh, it was a beautiful day. Can't ask for any better weather for November 4th. Um, you're able to get so close. <laughs> but yeah. Yes, it was an amazing time. I hope this hurts your ears. Ah. Super excited. Um, as you can see, we're very happy for them. Get some good awards too. Anything you'd like to say, Davis? Good job, Juan. Yeah. Can't wait to celebrate with Wings Night. Blaze wings? Challenge 2.0. Yes. I think me and Juan are going to go get wings later tonight. I want wings. Mm hmm. Why don't I get wings? You didn't ask for wings. I didn't know that was happening. Mm. So I would you were on the phone. Like to get wings. Mm, I'll think about it. You could just bring me wings. Mm, or you could come enjoy Where the are company you of us. Wings from Buffalo no, Wild never mind. I don't Wings. Want to go Worst Lame. restaurant in America. Have you ever had Burger King? <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> this. New real champs. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what do you think the worst res restaurant in America is? Um, so there's a place in Riverside, Illinois. It's called Connie's, and my family have gone there for like three plus years we don't go there anymore because we've found hair multiple times in the in the in the, in the food it's on harlem mm. and so, so uh, buffalo wild wings yeah yeah no, Worst buffalo wild America. wings is like decent but well, we're talking about There's, tonight no well, we're I just having a conversation restaurant 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 in America, uh, buffalo wild wings. i said burger king all right go we with the team give him this camera first it's fine of the again natural pizza in nature's truest form Mm. <laughs> I can't wait for the pizza at the soccer game. I know, it's gonna be so Is good. it pizza? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm so that? hungry. Go yes. support. Where's my fruit snack? Team. You promised me. Hold. She promised me. She promised me a fruit snack, but it looks like she probably didn't give it to me. So there it is. Fruit. That's the back right there. There we go. Fruit smiles. Yum. Yummy, yummy. That's wait. <laughs> Wrong, Bryn. <laughs> fruit salad. Let's see, yummy, what's your yummy. favorite fruit smile color? Why are you looking at, um, either blue, oh, or mm -hmm. green. Oh, really? I think mm -hmm. the green are like kind of the worst ones, but I like the, the bright red ones. Yeah, those, those are okay. Are good. Thanks for watching Juan's Outdoor Adventures. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, <laughs> go out for an adventure and be safe. Peace out. Well, that they move. Peace out. <laughs> and I will stand on what he did myself. Davis thinks this is a fountain for very short ladies. No, I said very short babies or dogs. Ladies. It's actually a foot washer. Oh, it worked. But there's such a water shortage right now in the United there's States of America. <laughs> However, are we going to get water? We'll call my mom. My mom works for. <laughs> that was so rude. Oh, no. go, 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 go. No, no, no. That, I don't want. You don't want to be beat up by a girl in the vlog? I just don't want you to beat me up. Oh, I get a little fever. But... And then she's like, yeah, come into my house. Come into my house. This is. This is my crib. Um, I have a oh, picture of me. MTV's cribs. Yeah, that, 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 that is that. That is not like. Come TV. in, and it's like 50 questions TV. with whatever.
And like the person behind the camera is just like, what's your favorite color? And they're just like, do their everyday activities. And they're like, purple. Oh. 